This is a 2000 model Bayliner Capri with the 5.0 liter V8 Mercruiser engine, inboard, outboard, outdrive, walkthrough, open bow. It's got about 730 hours currently and is in very, very good condition for the age and the hours. Uh, it's currently sporting a, uh, a galvanized trailer in very good condition. Tires are in great shape on that trailer, but let's get to the important stuff here, which is the boat. Um, I'm going to do a quick walk around on the hull and just check the general condition of the hull. Um, other than just being a little dirty and needing a, a good wash and a wax, the hull looks great. There's really no major no major uh, issues here on the hull. Everything looks really uh, pretty intact. No major dings, dents, gouges, or uh, damage to the uh, gel coat. Everything looks pretty solid. Once again, I'm not going to nitpick any little scuffs or light scratches because you'd expect that on a 10-year-old boat, but um, I don't see any uh, integrity issues with the hull, no deep gouges or deep scratches at all. Um, this is an aftermarket wakeboard tower uh, built by Bear West uh, Wakeboard Towers, and uh, just a little bit of a gel coat crack right here where the uh, front end fastens. It is a collapsible tower, so you just pull that pin and you can fold that tower down. Um, it's got that little bit of spider cracking in the gel coat on both sides, and of course that's just uh, because of that stress point on the wakeboard tower, but it's not a, not a structural defect by any means. Very light, you can, if you can see that, which is very, very light. Let's take a look inside here real quick. It's got a full carpet kit. Carpet's actually in uh, really good condition. Walk through to the open bow area here and take a look at the upholstery. The upholstery is in, in really pretty good condition. Uh, vinyl looks uh, intact up here. Everything looks uh, great. Good condition. There is the uh, bow cover and a uh, anchor and plenty of chain and rope. It's got the uh, collapsible windscreen there. You can open or close. The windshield is all in uh, perfect condition. Great condition. Take a look at these two front seats. Passenger seat looks very nice and the driver's seat looks good. does have a little bit of a tear uh, right on the seam where you sit. Uh, st right on the stitch seam. And uh, other than that, the seat looks really, uh, really pretty good. Right here, good condition there, and good condition there. That seat's in good shape. The uh, engine cover is in good condition. This side seat does have some little, uh, very minor little puncture holes. I don't know if you can see that or make that out, these tiny little things. It looks like probably an animal, like a dog or a cat. A uh, family pet is sitting here and, you know, got their claws into it. But very minor. Um, it's uh, structurally intact, and uh, I wouldn't have any concerns or reservations about using that cushion. Okay, let me see if I can uh, open this engine cover here. There we go. Let's dial that in. It is the 5.0 liter Mer Cruiser Thunderbolt 5 ignition. And this engine does run beautifully. Starts right up. Power steering pump. Everything's really clean in here. Uh, no leaks or uh, any kind of uh, burn oil smell. Everything looks just like it should. And then back here, we've got the Bimini top, which is stored back here under this uh, rear cover. Take a look here at the... Uh, with the driver's cockpit, the uh, there's the throttle and buttons for adjusting the uh, the outdrive. It's got a nice JVC AM FM CD deck. It's got uh, speakers throughout the uh, interior. There's our fuel temperature, RPM, mile per hour, oil 
and trim gauges along with the battery. This vehicle or boat, excuse me, does have dual batteries. There's one battery up here, and then there's one battery uh, in the back by the engine. Lots of nice storage space on the side there. You can put a couple of skis or a wakeboard. Take a look at the uh, the outboard here. Stainless steel prop looks like it's in great condition. Um, no major nicks or dings on the uh, on the prop edges. Looks very nice. The outdrive as well looks like it's been well maintained and uh, in good good shape. The drop lines are all there. Looks great does have a uh, rear swim ladder that folds out. 